ಭವಾಮಹೆ ಕವಿಕವಿನ ಉಪಮಶವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಸ್ಪತಾನೀತಿಸಾಧನೀವಕ್ರತುಂಗ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವಾಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ ಸಿಧಿ ಬುಧಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಸಹಿತ ಶ್ರೀಮಾ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಗಣಪತ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿವನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆನ್ ನಾದ ಯೋಗ We started with 108 Om And I hope that you like that <laughs> Because uh, It's the very first lesson To understand How the proper pronunciation Is done from the center of the mouth Because uh, I don't know if you know but <laughs> Uh, in the Vedas it said that on is the primordial sound what does that mean well uh, it means that it helps you to center your spine and uh, without your spine centered nothing of mantras and this stuff is possible so usually Um, we talk a lot about the importance of pronunciation of mantras but we don't practice as much as was needed so when we are learning about the Vedas there are six uh, instruments Vedangas that are used to uh, to have the Uh, benefits of the uh, mantra the chanting of the Vedas the very first one is Shiksha that means phonetics then there is Chandas and uh, there are other four the six Vedangas are one Shiksha phonetics two Chandas um, metrics Three, Vyakarana, no, Vyakarana, this means grammar. The fourth is Nirukta, etymology. The fifth one is Kalpa, it's kind of how to do the uh, rituals in a proper manner. And the sixth one is Dhyotisha, <laughs> not the Dhyotisha of uh, working for NATO charts, but the one for uh, taking good uh, occasions muhurtas so it the vedanga is we start with the proper pronunciation of the sound and the very 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 utmost important lesson and first lesson is how to make the sound please come in go in the center of the mouth mouth Because when you do the sound It naturally makes the shape of a circle So with this um, shape You can concentrate in a way that the sound goes mainly through the tunnel want you can use both of your hands or use a tool and in this exercise when you feel that the air is touching less your hand 
your fingers is that your practice is getting improved. So while you're practicing mantras, we should be with our spine erect. And uh, if you already have enough kind of yoga asana exercise, you can put yourself in Padmasana so that your spine is floating and you have a little bit of the top of your head going up, a little bit of your chin inwards, but a little bit. And you start practicing. See if you can relax the shoulders. It might happen that your arm touched the ground. That's why Shiva is always shown to be practicing meditation in a place where the hands can follow. So if you're completely relaxed, the hand is going to touch the ground, okay? So you can put a little asana below you in a way that the hands are going to float. So you're going to be in this position if you have enough yoga for that. If you don't have, don't worry. You just sit on the chair or you sit in the comfortable position that you can. There are some options for that. Don't force your knees, don't get injured, please. And you start that ohm that we did 108 times you're going to be able to uh, do it separately in another video don't worry <laughs> because probably you didn't know about all these instructions why you're doing so when you're practicing every ohm you don't focus so much in the mm for now. You just practice in the mm. When you close your your mouth, the mm, there is another sound that we are going to talk about that later. It will come naturally. You don't have to make effort. If you make effort to make mm, it's not that. It's just like the sea when the wave is crashing is oh when it's finishing is so it's the end of oh that that the will appear and you don't have to be like with an egg in the mouth. You just say in a way that there is some space here between the jaws and the, the upper part that I don't know the name in English. But this area here, it has to be soft. If there is a lot of tension here, the mouth is not going to be able to, make, to produce the proper sound. It's going to be like this. Too much stress, too much rigid here. So you make a little bit of massage. And then. You can put some divine light here, or God, or whatever, or relaxation if you rather but there is the need to have this space here you can use your thumb and see when there is some space this is the proper way that you make the and you can practice that 108 times in the other video that is going to be separate Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Namaste.